Hi everyone, it's Mom PJC here again, and I've just finished an unboxing video, and I've got this magazine here that Halo Phoenix very kindly bought for me. I've been buying quite a few of these. Uh, not the easiest thing to find because you can't get these on subscription, and you, which is disappointing because I'd love to be able to get these through the door. So I'm going to open this up and see it's got awesome creeper face on the front there which we can see is apparently a 3D poster. I think that means it's all that. I've gone ahead and opened the bottom already. Yeah, let's see if I can get this out. So we have, wow, that's pretty cool. I don't know how much you can pick that up on the camera as you move it around, sort of like changes color. That's really cool. I like that. I don't know if it's a sticky, don't think it is. That's really nice. I like that. That's awesome. It's really good. But it'd be nice if they did that with all the other mop heads as well. Okay, good. So, on the front of the magazine. Whoa, what we got? We got village people. And so this looks like a whole guy. We've got mob war here as well going to be inside. And the new villagers. Which, um, obviously with 1.14 just coming out, they're all a very hot topic. So I'm just gonna flick through, I'm not gonna read any of the magazine. I'll have a look. And the first thing I find inside is villagers, and they're all stickers. I don't know if you can see that on the camera clearly. Is that coming out all right? Cool. There's little bits of technical copyright stuff on the back there. That's really good, it's nice. And like they do quite often, you've got the cutouts in here that you can do. I think it's a shame they put them on the inside of the front cover, uh, put it on a different page or something like that, then you don't ruin the front of your magazine. So we've got the index as normal. Uh, we've got a shulker's guide, which is the best mob. All right, so leave a comment now who you think is the best of the mobs. Is that a bit of a giveaway than putting the, the glass there like that? I don't know. Ah, look at that. So we've got the villagers. It's a really cool picture. So there's lots of information there about them coming out in 1.14. And these are the new villages. So as you can see, we've got different types of villages. They've got different costumes for the different biomes that they live in. And then we've got the illagers down here, which are the baddies that are gonna come and try and raid the villages. And in my world, I've got to, I'm just about to change to 1.14. I've got to be out to try and protect the villagers from that. We've got the wandering trader who comes in and buys and sells things, which is another good dynamic added to the game. And the other new thing that we've got coming into the game as well is pandas and bamboo. And bamboo is really good for making the uh, blocks for scaffolding. That's the word. So there's some information there. Whether they've got the comic. wonder how many people read the comic. I sit and have a read for it every week. Or every month when it comes out. I think the drawings in here are fantastic. I love the way they draw the stuff in here. It's really good. So following on their adventures. And a village fortress. Well, yeah, with 1.14 coming out, you're going to have to be able to protect your villages and build them up. So this looks like, yep, it's a guide on how to take your existing village. And some exploded drawings here showing how to expand and build gateways and walls and stuff to protect yourselves from all the uh, villagers trying to get in. Then we got some pictures of builds by the community. These are always fantastic. I'd, I'd love to um, see if they gave us links where you could actually go and explore these worlds. It's like as, as like as a download or something like that. That'd be really cool. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's fantastic with the flat roofs and the plants growing on the top there. It's really good. So if you get any of the builds you do like this, you can submit them to the magazine as well. Then the middle poster, which is always done by Jinx, is the uh, creeper face. And inside there, you can see we've got what looks like a zombie. 
and we've got like an Enderman's eyes. So there's mobs hiding there in the background as well. Ah, right, the ultimate warrior. This is the thing they're doing where they're like, which is the best mob? So I'm gonna let you read through this if you buy the magazine, but you can see they're picking out which each of these mobs gonna fight against each other. Yeah, whether uh, with a skeleton and a ghast, the ghast gonna win every time if they were put up against each other. And then over here, they go into round two and the semi-finals, and they reckon the iron golem is the best mob of them all. I noticed that the ender dragon wasn't in there amongst all those, or the wither. Maybe that's because they are end boss monsters compared to the iron golem. But it'd be interested to see what you think. Do you think the iron golem's the best one? Not sure myself. Biome loot, so this is talking about the new areas that you can go to in the game and things you can collect, and that looks a lot like uh, the one that I've built in my game. That dungeon there. We've got some really nice images here. I love the uh, the way they do the extra artwork. And this never looks fantastic. I wish the never did look like this. Because there's like proper buildings in there and staircases. And I mean, you could build your base to look like that. But it'd be so cool if uh, Minecraft actually brought that into the game. And then we've got some more on the villagers. There's the old style villager. And these are the new ones. There's a guide here exploring the new villages and what you will find within them. And the new things like the grindstone and the composter, the loom and the lectern, which are all coming into the game now as well, giving us more functionality. And I don't think any base is complete without one of these. This is the redstone section, which talks about how to make different things. And this is an automatic items sorter. And I've got a huge one of these I'm building in my base. I'm trying to collect almost every item in there. So it's a re these are really good guides on showing you how to put these together, how to connect them up, and to use them in your own world. And then towards the back here is a section I think uh, Halo thinks be interesting. She likes the shulkers, and especially the funny noises they make. So there's a guide here on them and what they do. And as we get to the back of the magazine, there's the competition questions in the back. How well do you know Minecraft? I'll have a go at those later and uh, let you know how well I did. But also in the back here is the sticker books. I don't know if anyone's been collecting those. I haven't seen them myself in the shops, but be interested to know what you guys think of it. And then there's uh, an advert on the back by Jinx. So, yep, so that's this month's magazine, download number 25. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks, bye.